the Manhattan Brown L train. The train should be the only thing on the tracks. Until it arrives, you stand and wait. I keep my back towards whatever walls around because I just don't trust it at all. Genesis has her regular spot depending on the station design. Find a safe space, lean against the pole or the wall. At the Bedford Avenue L train stop, here's another option. This yellow railing is standing by near the middle of the platform. It gives me a sense of guidance, yeah, but at the same time, it's like I'm always like looking for the next person who's walking by because you just never know. For now, the safety barriers are at three stations, Bedford, 57th Street on the F and Crescent Street along the J. Be aware of your surroundings. That's the most important. I mean, don't stand on your phone right here. I'm glad that the police be here, I feel safe that the cops was here. Platform safety is a challenge in a system that has 472 stations, many different layouts. Platform doors are another option. Plans to try them at three busy stations are still in the early stages. Irrespective of the engineering challenges of platform screen doors, um, we want to just basically to keep people from getting harmed on the tracks. The MTA reports 30% fewer cases of people on the tracks since a high point last winter. I specifically was walking over and noticed I was close to the ledge and then I was like, actually, I want to stand over here. The MTA has installed cameras and detection devices that can monitor live footage and send alerts to station crews. Some trains now have cameras focused on the tracks. It makes sense that there's some type of barrier and so I... I like it, like I, it helps me feel like a little bit more safe.